Hello, my name is Ashley Kilabuk Savard. I am from Nikolaiv Nunavut and I am an artist. I work in multiple mediums. I do seal skin jewelry as well as beaded uh, necklaces, and I'm also a spoken poet. So I got started doing uh, beaded necklaces because my older sister taught me how, and it, it was a way for us to bond. Um, and then I just it went off from there. Uh, I find once you figure out how to do one pattern, you kind of like learn how to do many other patterns. Um, so that's how I've expanded. And like the seal skin earrings um, is just a way for me to wear more seal skin, to be more proud about um, seal skin products and where they come from and my Inuit culture. So for spoken poetry that came together, um, I grew up in Khalid Nunavut where 60% are Inuit and 40% are non, so English is the main language. Uh, so I didn't really I grew up with Inutituk always around me, but never speaking it, and I was quite stubborn at the same time. Um, so the way that my poetry writing started was through learning Inutituk and trying to get creative with learning new words and putting it into a poem, um, and also searching for you know my identity um, and being able to find ways to express myself, to connect with my culture, and learn my uh, my mother tongue. Um, uh, again, growing up in Akhalit Nunavut, there are many, I always grew up hearing you know, myths and legends and lots of storytelling, um, and I was always daydreaming. So I've performed so far at the Labrador Creative Arts Festival and the St. John's Storytelling Festival, um, as well as a few little uh, sessions here and there on the Ocean Endeavor, which is a cruise ship company um, run by Adventure Canada as we sailed through Greenland and Nunavut. Yeah, I'm a little shy to say that I'm, like, I'm an aspiring filmmaker. Okay. And that's the reason I'm actually going to Helsinki uh, today. Tonight. The film. To do a, it's a finance and packaging forum to gather the last bits of funding to get the short film that I'm working on made. Um, it's always a fun challenge to be creative in many different ways, but uh, in terms of the poetry writing, I was actually really inspired by Kakhalik Partridge, who is now the Inuit at large edit the editor, first Inuk editor at Inuit. Inuit Art Foundation. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know it is. Yeah. <laughs> as well as Lachlan Williams and Bathory, who is an amazing multi disemployer. Disem I'm getting a tongue tied. Yeah. Uh, multi disciplinary. disciplinary artist. Multi disciplinary artist. Um, to see other Indigenous women so confidently and so strongly state their identity in their own unique way inspired me to do it in my own unique way and to share my culture and to teach and also not only my culture but myself there are many different ways to tell stories many different ways and i kind of like all the mediums mm -hmm. whereas uh, storytelling filmmaking um spoken poetry jewelry making is just another way to express and also um, have cultural pride. So at this moment, I'm trying to get a short film made uh, with the whole purpose to use the short film as a trailer for to sell a feature film. Um, so the short film is about a young Inuk man living in Resolute Bay, struggling with his Inuk identity. And then a massive storm that spreads through all of North America, kind of similar to what we're dealing with right now, um, cuts off all of the power. And these Inuit, this community of 260 people live on this island way up north. And the planes stop coming. The power is off. What are they going to do? Um, and I get a little, it gets a little freaky with a little bit of, cannibalism mm -hmm. um, as a metaphor for colonialism and eventually what happens is that they 
the Inuit community and those who want to be a part of and learn with Inuit, not just Inuit, but everyone in the community who wants to learn how to live the traditional ways of the Inuit, eventually go off on the land and they reclaim what was the lifestyle that was kind of taken away. Um, so that's one project that I'm trying to work on. And in March, I'll be heading to Windsor, Ontario to do a beading workshop um, with the Windsor Regional Arts Association, I think it's Arts Council. Um, and also there will be a quick pop-up show there. Um, Isuma production is really inspiring and I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing without them. Um, growing up, I had friends who were interested in filmmaking and I kind of thought like, oh, we're from this tiny town no, one, no one's ever heard about. It's going to be so difficult to get all the way up here. That sounds like impossible. And then as more of these movies started coming out and I saw Zacharias Kunuk, and Alethea Arpunakpilo and Stacey Ar Ar Stacey Aglu. Yeah. Um, to see all these indigenous uh, and specifically you know filmmakers come out um, made it very possible and gave me um, inspired me to want to pursue my passions. Because um, I grew up always watching movies and being like obsessed with them, and I even went to film school for acting, um, but quickly decided that I wanted to do filmmaking and do all of it. Yeah, another part of it was also the lack of representation for Inuit growing up, and if it was represented, it was like from 40 years ago or 50 years ago. There's nothing contemporary, mm -hmm. or not much contemporary Inuit uh, media. Out there, mm -hmm. yeah. or from like a very colonial, yeah, that's perspective. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we need to be telling our stories our way. Mm -hmm. um, yes. okay. So there's a lot that goes into filmmaking yeah. that I didn't really think of, and a lot of money that goes into filmmaking. So I'm going to Helsinki, Finland, to mm -hmm. do this financing packaging forum to secure funding to make the short film um, and it's a lot for a short film it's actually a lot more than I thought it would be uh, so being able to find people to connect with and collaborate with but also being able to stay firm to the story is really important so that's why we're heading all the way here to connect and to to find the right people to, to build the right team um, project that I'm in. It's a series of six short films put together. Mm. Um, it's actually called Art of Chills. Um, so there's a, it's a team of all women, which is awesome. Um, indigenous women from all over the circumpolar north, north. So we have about two women from Finland, one from Norway, myself and Jerry Thrasher from Canada and um, another woman from Siberia. Um, and the whole point of the series is to have uh, indigenous mythology or something to do with your Arctic region. 